normally so one of the smallest natural number that has all the digits appearing at least one and is a multiple of 11 i love breaking down questions and I'm making creating simpler variants of the simpler versions of this and then thinking about it and so i want a natural number that has all the digits digits of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this number is at least a 10 digit number and i want the smallest of those possible so probably i'm looking for a 10 digit number and i'm looking for a number that is some rearrangement of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Rejig it in some form. And the best case scenario, I want a small enough number. So I'm assuming that there's a 10 digit number. I don't have to go to 11 digits. So each digit appearing only once, not at least once, exactly once. And somehow I manage a multiple of 11. And I'm going to break this down further. I'm going to forget the multiple of 11 element. I'm going to say the smallest possible number is 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I know this. I put the zero. I can't start with the zero. So I start with the one and then put all the smaller digits early, the bigger digits in the end. I've got myself a, a number. The smallest possible 10 digit number, which has all the digits appearing exactly once. Maybe this number is a multiple of 11, in which case I'll just write down the answer and go. So I'll, I'll verify that. How do I test that? This is beautiful mechanism to check for divisibility by 11. Add odd position digits. Add even position digits. And we know this. Right? 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 4, 7, 7 plus 6, 13, 13 plus 8, 21. These add up to 21. 0 plus 3, 3 plus 5, 8, 8 plus 7, 15, 15 plus 9, 24. These add up to 24, those add up to 21. I know the test of divisibility. It tells me that I have to do 24 minus 21, which is 3. If this were 0, I would have been true. Nice. True. That's a multiple of 11. Done. And so the test of divisibility says add digits in even positions, add digits in odd positions, find the difference. If the difference is either 0 or a multiple of 11, we've got ourselves a winner. What I mean by a winner is we've got ourselves a number that's a multiple of 11. Beautiful. So this number is not a multiple of 11. So I didn't get lucky. I kind of knew I was not, not going to be that easy. The question appearing in a really tough Olympiad world. So it's not going to be that easy. But it's given me a nice starting step. I think, hey, I add all these digits. It comes to 21. I add these. It comes to 24. And then I want to know whether the digits are working fine. I'm told that I need to amp up the mic, amp up my own volume. I shall do that. Hello, hello, hello. Hope the volume is uh, super clear. I will speak louder as well. So the digits add up to 21, these digits add up to 24. And so, so 24 minus 21 doesn't work. Now, straight away, you know, if I add all these digits, all of them together add up to 45. I'm splitting 45 into two parts, even position digits, odd position digits, which is all nice and lovely. But the moment I do that, I recognize that I can never split it equally. I cannot put 22 here, 23 here, then I'll, my difference will be 1. 24 and 21, difference will be 3. I cannot put 22.5, 22.5. 45 is an odd number. So if I add these digits and add these digits, the difference is never going to be 0. That's my first takeaway. And so I straight away sense that, hey, this is interesting, but the difference is not going to be 0. So I have to figure out a mechanism where I write down 10 digits in some form where I add these digits and I add these digits and my difference is going to be 11, not 0. It could be 11, 22, 33, but 11 seems reasonable. 22 is probably too big. I let me worry about it if 11 doesn't work out, but it's not 0. I know the difference is not 0. And so all these numbers, let's say they add up to x, all these they add up to y x plus y is 45. Total sum of all these digits is 45. 21 plus 24 was 45. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 is 45. 21 plus 24. Totally it is 45 sitting in. The difference is 11. How could it be 11? x plus y is 45. It could be 25 and 10. 25 and 20. In which case the difference would be 5. Or 26 and 19. The difference would be 7. 27 and 18, difference would be 9. 28 and 17, 
difference would be 11. What am I doing? I'm increasing one, decreasing the other. Right? So, or my two sums should be 28 and 17. Now I've got myself something. So I'm going to restart this whole question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have one set of five digits here, another set of five digits here. I want the total number to be as small as possible. And I want some of these to add up to 28, remaining to add up to 70. If I have one set adding up to 28, remaining will automatically add up to 70. I have one set adding up to 17, remaining will automatically add up to 28. And I want this number to be as small as possible. I'm going to say, hey, let me put 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then see if I can just play around with these digits to achieve my objective. And so 1 plus 2 plus 4, these add up to 7. 0 plus 3 plus 5, these add up to 8. Right. 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm just going to play around with these. So I want my one total to be one total to be 28, another total to be 17. Right? My total is 8. I have to take it to 28. My last two digits have to give me 20. That's not possible. I have 8 and 9. Even if they add up, I'll get only 17 as total. This 7 is also not going to 28. What this is telling me, I simply cannot achieve my objective if I have 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5. I cannot just change around, play around with 6, 7, 8, 9 and get my desired totals. These add up to 8, those add up to 7. That is simply not going to work. So I know my smallest number is not 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5 something. I cannot have 5 here. That doesn't work. Okay. So let me simplify. Let me put it as 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. These 3 I add. These 2 I add. And then to this, I'll have to add this and this. Okay. 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 0, 3. And then I'll have to add this, this and this. I'm going to check this out. I'm going step by step. I did 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5. Didn't get anything. I went to 1, 0, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to see if that is possible. If I add these, let me just erase this so that it's not confusing. Let's come from the previous thing. 1 plus 2 plus 4, these add up to 7. 0 plus 3, this adds up to 3. Right? I have to add two more digits right? and take the total to 28 or 17. I add two more digits, taking it to 28 is tough. Maybe I can take it to 17. These two. Or 0 plus 3 is 3. These three, I add. And I get, now if I can take this total only to 17, this total has to go to 28. Three more digits and I have to take the total to 28. So automatically tougher. So I'm going to attack only this. 1, 0, 2, 3, 4. And so 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7. I know 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5. I cannot achieve anything. 1, 0, 2, 3, 4. Let me see if I can achieve something. So I need to add 1, 2, 4. I get 7. And then I add these two. I have to take the total up to 17. So I need to find 10 more. Okay. But 1, 0, 2, 3, 4 has been taken. Even if I put 5 here and 6 here, that is 11 more. The minimum total this will go to is 18. Thus this one has, can go only to 17. It cannot go to 18. That doesn't work for me. So 1, 0, 2, 3, 4 is tricky. With 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, these two digits should give me a total of 10. Because 7 have been accounted for. I need to go to 17. That's not possible. Even if I put 5 here, 6 here, my total will go to 18. So this also doesn't work. Starting with 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, I cannot find a number. Starting with 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, I cannot find a number. Let me go to 1, 0, 2, 3. And then think from there, where do I go? 1, 0, 2, 3. 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, I don't get anywhere. Maybe 1, 0, 2, 3, 5 is possible. That's something that you need to think. 1, 0, 2, 3, 5. Maybe that can work. I put 1, 0, 2, 3, 5 here. This adds up to 8. Maybe I can go to 17. Can I? 1, 0, 2, 3, 5. This adds up to 8. I have to go to 17. 8 to 17 is 9 more. Even if I put 4 and 6, that is 10. Simply doesn't work. I cannot get to 17. If I have 1, 2 sitting in the bag, I cannot squeeze in enough to go to 17. 
right so so 10234 doesn't work 10235 10236 work 10236 i'm just going to think about this so 1 plus 2 plus 6 is 9 which is good i need to get to 17 17 minus 9 is 8 i need to get a total of 8 remaining 1 2 0 2 3 add out 4 plus 5 is 9 doesn't work so 1 0 2 3 something 1 0 2 3 4 1 0 2 3 5 1 0 2 3 6 1 0 2 3 7 1 0 2 3 7 this adds up to 10 i need 7 more doesn't work this doesn't work either adding up to 17 like this is tricky and i'm gonna have one look at the chat window uh just to see whether there is something that is going on here that you guys have answered, already found the answer there some of you are already jumping with joy super no i think you're discussing it but you do not have the answer yet it's a super tough question super tough question right so one zero two three doesn't seem to work so i'm going to start with saying One zero two three seven two three eight didn't work. So let's say put one zero two. Maybe put a four here. Now we'll think one plus two plus this plus this plus this we have remaining zero plus four plus this plus this we have remaining one plus two is three zero plus four is four one zero two three we didn't get anything with one zero two four maybe we'll get somewhere. 1024 this adds up to 0 plus 4 is 4 1 plus 2 is 3 from 4 we can go to 28 that means we'll have to find a remaining 24 somewhere from 3 we can go to 17 so we need to find 14 more somewhere in three digits 1024 we have to go to 24 24 can be got by saying so we just think the number of digits one more digit here one two three four five one more digit here so one zero two four all the way till 28 i need 24 more 24 could be seven plus eight plus nine that can work so one zero two four seven eight nine add up to 24 i still have seven eight nine remaining with me the moment i put that the remaining will have to come here it will automatically work or i can have a number which is one zero two four dash seven dash eight dash nine so zero plus four is four seven plus eight plus nine is twenty four twenty four plus four is twenty eight all good the remaining should be seventeen one plus two is three three gone the next digit is three that's still remaining the remaining digits are three five six three plus five plus six add up to fourteen plus three seventeen this works I should put them in ascending order, put the smaller digits earlier. This will work. 10243758869. That works. Taking this to 17, this to 28, does not work. If you take this total to 28, three digits needed to I need to add up to 25. The highest total three distinct digits can have is 7 plus 8 plus 9. 987. That is 24. This total cannot go to 28. Only this can go to 28. With that going to 28, 1023, we couldn't achieve anything. 1024 is the next smallest. With 1024, this is the best case scenario. We are through. The number is 10243758691. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6. This adds up to 17. 0 plus 4 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9. 24, 28. This adds up to 28. 28 minus 17 is 11. This number is a multiple of 11. No larger, no smaller number than this can be found. Or the smallest natural number that has all the digits appearing at least once. And that also happens to be a multiple of 11 is this one. 10243758869. Absolutely delightful question. It took us a long time to solve. Super difficult. But go through this and try it completely. Trial and error, some method, some figuring out, going step by step, seeing that 1023 doesn't work, trying with 1024, maybe that works, maybe that doesn't work, keeping on hanging in there and doing. It's a beautiful question, a really tough question. Okay.